I've been having a lot of fun showing you guys how I use AI tools such as ChatGPT to create literally my entire business from scratch and a few smaller tasks that I have to do within my business. But in this video today, what I wanted to show you is how I created my first course completely using AI. Mind you, if you're looking to create a course or if you have some sort of process that you want to automate using AI, having the initial knowledge is super important because you can have something like ChatGPT build out your entire course for you. But if it's a course on something that you don't have any knowledge about, you're going to have to take the extra step of actually learning the knowledge. And if that's where you are, don't worry, because I have a few prompts that I can share with you as well on how you can begin to learn a new skill to then teach it to others, because this is where we're moving towards. Skills are going to be the hot commodity in the future. And I firmly believe that. So now is the best time to begin learning new skills, especially with tools such as AI. Your possibilities are literally limitless. So let me get into my prompt sequence that I used to create my first ever course on generative AI. And if you're interested in that course, the link is down below, but I'm going to show you exactly how I made it. So here you can see using ChatGPT 3.5, I didn't even have to use four yet at this time. I told myself that I wanted some time before I would make the purchase for ChatGPT 4. So I played around with GPT 3 a lot. I maximized its capabilities, meaning that I was able to do a lot with very little. However, that being said, I'm very happy with the capabilities of ChatGPT chat gpt 3 and 4 but this was done using 3 so this is just an indication that you can get started right now so i started off by saying that i would like to create a course for beginners of ai to be able to create their own ai software using only free software such as chat gpt and other easy coding platforms so in the very beginning i had this grand idea that i was also going to teach people how to code and i quickly realized that that is probably not where i want to go with this however for the sake of this video i'm just going to walk through the rest of the prompt so you can see the capabilities of chat gpt you can take my exact prompts if you'd like and use it for yourself and just input whatever uh, verbiage you want to use. In a previous video, I talked about prompt engineering and the importance of what that is. And if you're unfamiliar with prompt engineering, I recommend that you also take the time to look into it because it's going to be the career of the future. It's going to be one of the most high ticket skills that you can have because everything that we're going to be doing in the future will incorporate AI. And if you are proficient in prompt engineering, you will do very well in this time period. So let's go back to my actual prompt thread that I have here with ChatGPT3. Um, I also asked that it create a full beginner course with the purpose of the purpose written above. Students should be able to complete the course in three months or less. Um, and I want to include each the length of each module, free resources and video courses if they have. This is one thing that GPT-3 was not able to do was to provide me with links to these free resources. However, it did provide me with ideas of free resources that I could create as a part of my course, such as certain blog posts, certain articles, or even additional videos to help the students learn each concept. It literally gave me a full course with all of the modules written out um, by week, and it told me the topic of each module, um, each subset within the module. I did tweak it quite a bit because my final product ended up being nothing like this. However, I am working on an additional course where I will be showing individuals how to create bots and then incorporate them into their own systems. So the first we have is understanding AI basics. I was this was very easy for me to put together. Um, I essentially just used this module outline. And then in later prompts, you'll see that I had it give me outlines for each individual day as well. So then I was able to take those outlines and create videos based on what it gave me. So the purpose of this is to provide you with the structure. And this is why it's important to have the preliminary knowledge, because if you already know a lot about a certain subject, all you have to do is receive this outline and you'll be able to incorporate 
um, whatever knowledge you have step by step within this process. So let's just go through and see. So I created the introduction to coding as well. And I think it was as at this point that I realized that I would need to go a little bit deeper into coding. So I removed it all together and I made the course to where we're only using tools such as ChatGPT4 and other language learning models. So then we have module two, which I also started teaching um, introduction to machine machine learning, which is a very complex topic. So that may that ended up being a, an entire course on its own that I'm working on as well. And then building AI with chat GPT. So this is just the module outline. And again, with prompt engineering, if your outline comes back a little too complex and you're like, mm, I don't think I'm ready to teach this right now, simplify it even more, you can go back to the prompt and re-prompt it to simplify your process. I mentioned in the last video, one rule of thumb that I like to keep in mind is to keep track of all of the prompts that you've written on a separate document so that you can easily go back and redo the prompt or remove certain parts of it and then copy and paste it into the chat GPT um, thread. So then what I had it do was create a title for me. So literally, I just went on Udemy or whichever platform I was going to post my course on at the time. And I was like, what do I need in order to post this course? It needed a title, it needed a description, and it needed to know who the course was for. And I had AI do all of that for me. All you need to have is the knowledge base within you and then utilize something like ChatGPT to create an outline for you. Because what I find is that a lot of people know about a lot of things. However, they don't know how to turn it into something that they can monetize or they don't know how to turn it into something concrete with structure so that they can share it with as many people as possible. And this is just one example of doing that. If you know how to cook meals that are going to help people lose weight, but you don't you don't quite have a course or you don't have an e-product available for them, this video is going to help you get started or at least give you an idea of how you're going to get started on doing that. All right. So as I mentioned, I had it create a title for me and AI mastery, create your own intelligence solutions, a three month journey from beginner to AI developer. I made sure to have it emphasize the problem that was going to be solved and who the course was for. So next we have the course description. It provided me with a really good description of what will, what this of what the student will learn in the course, um, why choose this course, and then what's next. So it even had this cute little uh, click now, click enroll now to begin your AI mastery journey. And then I went a step further. I gave it a brief synopsis of my background, and I had it write about me as the instructor. And honestly, I think it did a better job than I could have ever done because a lot of the things in here, I wouldn't have even thought of saying about myself. I just provided the facts and they made it pretty. So I'm very happy about that. So I also mentioned that I had the bot break down each module for me so that it made it easier for me when recording the actual lessons. And this is what it looked like. So my prompt that I used basically said, write a course lesson for each topic within module one. So I broke it down by module and I did do this step by step. However, if you go back to a previous video that I made on creating chat bots, you could have a bot actually do all of this work for you without prompting each and every single time. But back to this here, I had it uh, break down the lesson for me. So in this lesson, um, I basically laid down the foundation for the AI journey, uh, defining AI intelligence, et cetera. And I even went a little bit further. So this was more so for my own internal purposes of understanding what each lesson was about. So in module one, within the video, I gave the definitions and the origins of AI. I used historical milestones and AI development. And then I also added the evolution, the evolution of AI technologies. And the whole point of all of this is just to get you to realize that you don't have to do all of this thinking on your own. All you need to do is have the general knowledge and then you can take this and put something together really nicely into a course or an ebook even or whatever e-product that you're looking to provide. So after I got all of that together, I went over to Canva and I used the video content section of each of the modules to then create PowerPoints to help me in my video lessons. The PowerPoints were very, very simple because I already have a 
lot of the knowledge, I was able to just put together simple slides so that I can cue myself when it's time to say certain things. So the slideshow was for visual representation for the students, but it was also able to help me understand what topic I needed to talk about in each lesson. So all of that sounds very manual right now, but think about the amount of time previously that it would have taken you to come up with an entire course if you have already, how much time that would have taken versus how much time you saved by having something like ChatGPT do it for you. I think within that alone, I saved a, at least 10 hours of trying to come up with a course outline. And then I saved even more time by having it break down each module for me to the point where most of the time was just spent on actually recording the content, which again only took me a few weeks. So this entire process probably saved me an entire month's worth of time. And so that allows me to create more courses and focus in on other areas of my business where I really, really enjoy working on. So that's literally the entire course outline the entire course description, title, um, and my information about me. This is everything that I would have needed in order to upload my course. The only thing that I would have had to do was sit down and record each one of my modules and my lessons, which only took me about a week to do because I already had the outline and I already had the information. I just needed to put it all together. And then I was able to upload the course so that now I can offer it to whoever is looking to learn AI and whoever is looking to incorporate AI within their business. So if you're interested in the link down below, you'll find my introductory to generative AI course for entrepreneurs so that you can have a foundational understanding of how you can even begin to incorporate AI into your business. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe.